hey my friends, today we are talking about Christmas movies. Um, I love Christmas movies. Hands down. Love them. Love, 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 love them. In fact, a lot of my traditions surrounding Christmas are all about the movies. So today I'm teaming up with a few of my gal pals here on YouTube, and we are going to share with you our favorite books, our favorite movies, our favorite songs, all about celebrating Christmas and the things that we watch, read, and take in over the holidays. So check out their links below. They're going to be in the description box. They are awesome gal pals and I'm excited to be collabing with them. So let's talk about Christmas movies because I love me some Christmas movies. So I'm just going to jump in and talk about them. So one of my favorites is A Christmas Story, better known as the Red Rider BB gun. Ralphie, Christmas, leg lamp, Really, I mean, it's so stinking funny, and I used to love that. I think it was was it TBN. I've been away from the states for a while, so I haven't been immersed in this tradition anymore. But watching it 24 hours, I loved that the movie was so long uh, that it felt like you could pick it up at different points, and it would just you felt I don't know. It just it was good and corny. My mom hated that movie. And my dad would always turn it on when we were opening presents, and she was so bugged by it. But I loved it. And my dad actually bought me um, a two-disc set of it several years ago. And so it's I love it because I don't have TBN anymore. Is it TBN? TNT. Maybe it's TNT. TBN is TBN's the, the Christian channel. I think it's TNT. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Red Rider BB Gun, Ralphie. He gets the gun. It's so good. Hope I didn't spoil that for you. You probably have already watched it. Next is a fairly new movie to me, and I just jumped on the train about this a couple years ago. So our movie theater plays a lot of classic Christmas movies. They play them on Saturdays, and then sometimes they do them in the evening. So closer towards Christmas, they'll have um, an evening movie that they'll play. And for the past two years, it's been It's a Wonderful Life, which such a good movie. I mean, I like to watch that on Christmas Day, but we go to the theater and watch it, and it's amazing on the big screen. But a movie that was new to me, like three years ago maybe, was White Christmas. I had never watched it before, and it is one of my favorites. It is so beautiful and fun and funny. Um, I used to work in a nursing home, and one of the women there, um, one of the residents, used to sing, Mandy, there's a minister handy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I did, I... I didn't know that song was on there and on White Christmas and now I do and I wish I could say I love that movie but I can't but yeah it's so good so good you have got to watch it um I actually picked up the Holiday Inn the Holiday Inn I think is what it is I've not watched that one yet either my sister-in-law and my um, husband's cousin who's my friend Jenny um, we they went uh, one time last year or the year before to go watch the Holiday Inn at the movie theater I couldn't go uh, and I missed out and they both loved it so I, I bought that from Amazon I haven't yet watched it maybe today because it's snowing and that might be nice Another one that I love to watch is um, the Charlie Brown Christmas. So cute. So cute. I love it. And last year um, we watched that with my kiddos and, and they really enjoyed that. So I love to watch that with them. I mentioned this movie in my um, traditions movie and that is Rudolph. And for me, Rudolph is a standalone movie. One night you watch it. I can't watch it over and over because it's so special. Excuse me. Um, my dad watched it every year as a kid, and he would wait till Santa went around the moon before he would get up and go to bed. Um, and then he carried that tradition on with my sisters and I, and we would watch it every year. And then even um, 
even like when I was like at high school and stuff, I would still watch it with my dad. And then um, when I moved away and got married, I continue on. Rudolph is, he's a special little guy to us. So it's always Rudolph. And then I also mentioned this movie in my traditions as well, but Christmas Eve we always watch Scrooge or Christmas Carol. Um, we like the George C. Scott version. It's so good. It's kind of scary and a little creepy, and but so good. And um, my dad would watch that every Christmas Eve before, um, as my sisters and I would go to bed and you could hear the movie kind of going throughout the house and you'd settle in and listen to the Scrooge and yeah, I loved it. So every Thanksgiving night, my family and I watch Home Alone. It's kind of one of our traditions. Um, we would sit with our leftovers and watch Macaulay Culkin just, ah, so good. Um, we didn't actually end up doing that this year. I said we needed to, but it didn't get done within the, um, I, we, it's a long story, but we didn't get to do it, but I did watch it December 1st, and it felt like it kicked off, uh, the Christmas holiday season well for me, so always home alone. Always, always, always. One movie that I could watch on repeat, or at least, um, I can watch it several times during the holiday season is Christmas with the Cranks. I love it. I think it's so funny. I never get sick of watching it and I kind of like that it's on Netflix because I can just kind of always, I don't have to like stick it in the DVD player. I can just, you know, turn on the TV and boom, there it is. So good. I also am a big fan of the Claymation movies. I used to have a ton of VHSs about all of them. Um, now I've I think I've rebought almost all of them uh, that I, I enjoy uh, on DVD. So there's Jack Frost, um, A Year Without a Santa Claus, um, 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 Nestor the Long-Eared Donkey, saddest story ever. Don't watch that with your kids because it's so sad. It's like crying sad and we happened to watch it with Aubrey and it had been a long time since I'd watched it. I knew it was sad and I knew they used to cry but really sad, so don't watch that um, with your kids. Uh, Little Drummer Boy, um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, that one's so good, and that makes me think of a couple other movies that I love, because it's, again, it's all about the Christmas movies. The Santa Claus, love the Santa Claus, and again, my dad and I used to watch this, I mean, the whole family did, but um, even if no one else was home or wanted to watch, my dad and I would always watch Christmas movies, and the Santa Claus is one of his favorites. He always would cry as he watched it, and so it's always super special. I bought it one year for him on uh, on DVD, and this was like, I guess before, I mean, people had DVDs, but it was like you could um, watch them on TV, so you would wait till they came on TV because you knew they were coming on TV, so it felt no need to buy the DVD, but I bought him the DVDs, so... And then we like the Santa Claus 2. The Santa Claus 2 isn't quite as big of a favorite as Santa Claus 1, but it's still good. And Santa Claus 3, but 1 is good. Um, are there any more that I think of? Oh! Little Women. Little Women. Again, this is another really special movie. So, um, a few long time ago when it came out into the theaters I don't know how old Little Women is anymore but it's it's a quite an old movie movie Kirsten Dunst is a young girl like child in it so um, it's old but when it was in the theater my grandma took my mom and my sisters and I to go watch it and uh, I still remember that day, and it was so special, and my, I remember my grandma crying in the movie because she'd recently lost her sister, and if you know the story of Little Women, one of the sisters dies, and um, shortly after that, my grandma developed Alzheimer's, and she had a 20-year battle with Alzheimer's, and so she was taken from us way too soon, um, so... The tradition of watching Little Women is, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to cry. Um, 
it just again reminds me of this very special special woman in my life and she was taken so soon from us um, with this horrible disease of Alzheimer's so watching little women just reminds me of her and reminds me of my own sisters who I'm very close with and my mom and um, a Christmas season can't go by without watching little women and when I lived at home uh, my youngest sister Julie had bought us my sister Jenny and I the um, DVDs for Christmas one year and I would just put that on and I would fall asleep to it and the music is beautiful and quite honestly when the movie starts I get so teary because I just think of the legacy of the amazing woman that was my grandma and the legacy that she passed down and the things that she did and how she shaped our family um, are the things that I will carry on with my own children and have been carrying on and the standard that she set is the standard that I strive towards so that movie is incredibly special to me and um, I can't wait to watch it so that is a look of some of my all-time favorite Christmas movies I'm sure I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna think why didn't I talk about that one and if I do I will leave a comment or something in the description box because Christmas movies are just the thing, and I love them. Of course, I love The Grinch, not the Jim Carrey one. I'm sorry, I just, I don't like that one. I'm sorry, if you're a fan. I know it's like the number one grossing movie of all time, Christmas movie. It's scary to me. I don't know. Whatever. Let me know what your favorites are down below. Oh, I thought of one more, and then I'll wrap it up. Um, this movie, it's a, I think it's a Hallmark movie, it's, <clears throat> and it, again, it's corny, um, and I could watch it on repeat, and I do, all season long, um, and it is called The Christmas Card, and basically this woman sends a Christmas card on construction paper, on construction paper, to, um, some of the troops, she sends Christmas cards to the troops overseas, and this one guy gets it, and he has a tragic event happen, and he goes to her town, because uh, she included a picture of their local church on the cover of the Christmas card, and they happen to meet, and it's their story. I won't tell you how, what happens in case you want to watch it, but Ed Asner's in it, um, and it's, it's so corny, including the card that she sends, like, the wording that she, <laughs> she chooses. She talks about, um, she talks about her boyfriend who, so she says something like, you'll probably be long, you'll probably be home long before my boyfriend Paul ever proposes to me. Like, who says that in a Christmas card to a total stranger? I don't know, it's corny, bad acting, but... I don't know, it's just one of those heartwarming movies, I guess. I don't know. And speaking of Hallmark, one last one. Um, oh, I think it's called Christmas in the Smokies. If I've got that name wrong, I'll put it right here. Um, but it's, again, it's a new one to me, and I've been watching it on YouTube, so you can find it on YouTube. Um, and kind of bad acting... You don't think people would really act like this in real life. You hope they wouldn't because you'd think, gosh, get a life. But the girl who's in it, she's absolutely beautiful. The setting is gorgeous and the idea is fun and it's it's just a feel-good movie. Anyways, I gotta go. I love you guys. Let me know your favorites down below. I'll talk to you soon. Check out the links to the other gals and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Mm-hmm. <clears throat>